Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskoro from quickadminpanel.com, generator of Laravel admin panel. Today I want to show you a quick demo of uh, how to create a sports league, uh, basketball in this case, league page with admin panel and with some front, uh, front end things. So as an example, I just googled any basketball league and we will create a simplified version of something like this we will have teams players and results and schedules with really really simplified database structure like this one so uh, let me make it bigger so every team has a name every player has name surname age, and birth date and there will be games uh, team one and team two when do they start the, the game and if there are results already or not and that's basically it, and we can generate that simply with our quick admin panel. So let's do that now. Oh, sorry. We log in. I log in with my own personal account. I create admin panel. Um, basketball League. Uh, let's choose Admiralt theme and create. Uh, currently, the project is generated on the server. Uh, the system generates Laravel files. You can install modules here, but that's not what we need to do, actually. We need to create menus. Uh, in fact, CRUD menu items. So first, CRUD menu item, let's look at our database again, it's Teams. So we need to manage Teams. Okay, CRUD Teams with icon, I don't know, let's, let's leave the icon the same. And with one field, team name. That's it. That's what we should do required. That's basically it. And permissions at the bottom. And save CRUD. Uh, then the CRUD is generated again on the server with all the Laravel files. As you see here, all the routes, controllers, views, and all that stuff. And here we can see teams. And so we can actually enter, for example, sorry, Golden State Warriors, and then um, Cleveland Cavaliers, since I'm recording that uh, as NBA Finals begun, um, Los Angeles Lakers, for example. Uh, and so on. So yeah, it, it's all happening online at quickadminpanel.com. It's not downloaded yet. So the step number one is to generate all we can online. So let's get back to menus and let's create more menu item, more menu items, players. Every team can have players. So we need to manage players. Um, let's change that to user, I think, the icon, yep. And every player has a team. A team is a relationship, right? So it belongs to a relationship, team, relationship model, team, and field name. That's it. Finish and close. Then we have name, surname, and birth date. So name, one more field, surname, and one more field. Date picker, birth, date, all optional. And again, we save the CRUD. So the second CRUD is being generated on the server. And let's see how it works. So we have players here now, and we can enter player, like Golden State Warriors, Kevin Durant, I have no idea when he was born. Uh, actually, let's leave it blank. Um, then we have Steph Curry, and so on. Uh, and the third thing we need to generate here is games. So every game is happening. So games, is there an icon with ball? Oh yeah, great. Uh, soccer, well, anyway, let's leave it. So the game is happening between team 1 and team 2, so it belongs to relationship with team 1 with model team. Then another belongs to relationship with team 2 
but with the same model teams. Then we have start time from what I remember. Yeah. Uh, so date and time picker and start time. Then result uh, number result one. Uh, unsigned, no, can be any sports. So result one and number result two. And that's it, I guess. Um, yeah, save CRUD. And here we can enter games now. So menu item games. And let's have a game between Warriors and Cavaliers. Start time, for example, this one. And we have no results yet. We save, and the game is without result yet. Then when we have result, we enter that here, and we update the game. And uh, another game, for example, Cleveland versus Golden State. So um, game on, on another uh, playground in another arena. And that's it. So basically, we have generated uh, our database structure with menu items with admin panel at quickadminpanel.com. And next, uh, next thing what we will do is download the admin panel and install it locally. So let's do that now. So we download our admin panel with a click of a button on, on download admin panel. We have a short instruction here, but I will show it to you how it works actually in real life. So I've unarchived the file that I've just downloaded and put it into a folder which I've specially prepared for uh, for that project. So we have a folder called Q1. Now let's go into our terminal and run Composer install. Basically the downloaded admin panel contains all the necessary Laravel files which is like routes, controllers, views, models, all of that. So if we browse through that now, we will see uh, admin controllers of games, players, and teams. So specifically those three that we have generated. Let's look at one of the examples, uh, including the gates, so the permission stuff, all of that, as usual, controller with, with comments, with dog blocks, uh, with all the things related to Laravel. So that was my homestead, so sublime. Uh, another example, while the composer is installing, we have, uh, we have models. So for example, player, player uh, belongs to, to the team. Uh, another example of a file could be view file. So resources, views, admins, admin games. And we have a view extending the main layouts app. So we have the view with data tables, with time picker, you know, with some settings. And so basically everything ready for us to use our Laravel project. Okay, Composer is almost done. I have an empty database actually here. In Q1, ambiguous files. That's interesting. Maybe it was left from a previous installation on that folder specifically, because I've made a lot of installations to that Q1 folder, but I guess it shouldn't be any problem here. Okay. It's taking longer than expected. Building. Okay, we're ready. Next time, next thing we run artisan migrate with seeds. So we have uh, we have the database, and also we have to run key generate as well. And now we can run our project locally. So I prepared again. I prepared uh, a domain for that uh, with homestead. And default login is admin admin and password is password. And that's it. So you have the same teams, players, and games. 
And not only that, we should have the same data that we've entered online because it was saved in the seeds. Mm, so yeah, we have our project locally. And from here, we can add some custom code to actually make it look uh, as basketball league page on the front end. So let's do that now. Quick admin panel works in a way, so after you download your admin panel, it's Laravel code and you are free to do whatever you want with that. So we have our admin panel and now we will try to generate the front end view uh, with a list of teams, list of games and uh, table of standings. So let's look at our current routes web file. Current homepage is redirected uh, automatically to admin. So we have to change that. Um, let's actually uh, let's let's create a new route group. Let's plan what we will build here. So route group without any middleware to be honest, uh, just uh, as admin as front front function home mm, actually get teams is teams controller index let's put it this way so we want teams we want games and we want um, table so that's it games controller index and table controller index so uh, we want that and then for the home page we will redirect that to games I guess let's 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 push the games as the new home page right okay so um, actually we don't even need route group here to be honest okay we're good now so let's create a uh, games controller um, yeah probably let's do games controller uh, artisan make controller games controller okay should be good and what do we need for the index we want games. We already have the model for games from admin panel. All and return view. Let's put front games with parameter of games. That's it. Uh, and we don't need that. Uh, now let's create the view for front games. In resources views, we have admin folder for all of the admin stuff. Now let's create a front folder where we will have new file games.blade.php. Now let's put some contents in here in blade file, and I've prepared some other files here. Let's take the front end from default Laravel make auth thing. So if you run artisan make auth command, it will generate some blade files and some front end structure. So I will copy that code to our blade file, except for the for the main thing. Panel default, we don't need that. So this will be our games games table and for that we need the layouts app let's change that to layouts front and let's create layouts actually it is created already uh, front no we don't need that layouts sorry layouts new file front blade PHP. Let's close that one. So in front we need, let's copy that from here. Let's add. That will be our front. Blah, blah, blah. We don't need that. 
config and here we will have our menu so games with route actually we don't need routes here it will be just slash games and then games teams and table teams and table we don't need any right side of login and register um, yeah I guess we're good to go except for CSS and JS let's copy that here too but actually let's try it so if we go to q1.dev now actually it's working so we don't need anything else so we have games page which is empty for now let's put some contents here uh, let's go back to our php storm i actually use sublime sometimes for quick editing as you maybe uh, noticed but for main project i use php storm so um, heading uh, teams start of the game and I guess start and teams and let's split that into two upcoming games and results maybe split by the chart results and uh, teams and results um, in our games controller we want mm, well, not no result one get results and games will be without result so games and results and for else i like to use for else for those who don't know it's like for each it's if count then for each instead of that we will have for else and um, empty so for else games as game we show uh, we show games turn and game team one name versus game team two name. and empty if there are no games we show no games let's test it out let's refresh our page yeah we have one game table of course i should add class table to bootstrap yeah better so we have start and upcoming games and with results we do basically the same thing or else with the only difference as results as game and game game result one game result two and here there should be call span three and no results let's refresh that so see we have uh, we have list of upcoming games and results. Next, let's build the teams list. It will be really similar. So we actually in games blade we save as teams blade teams blade um, front teams blade. Let's generate teams controller. So it will be teams controller generated successfully. T 
Teams controller. Let's copy that thing from Games controller. Right, Teams. So Team. Here we need just all teams from teams and teams. Um, this and then in teams we have list of teams, team and players. Uh, for else teams as team, we have team name and we have link to players, team players account and here we have a link to mm, actually let's put it this way players uh, team ID mm -hmm. and no teams and now we need to define the players so in player model we have team as belongs to but in team we don't have as many so let's do that public function players return this as many player class that should be okay and let's go to our teams page method index doesn't exist in where method teams of course Right, so we have the teams with list of players. Now let's create a list of players. So players slash team, we need to add another route here. So players slash team ID and team controller players. Our players will be another function here not method team id and players will be player where team id equals team id get front players players and also let's return the team as well team Find team ID and players, and also let's return the team. And for players view, we do the same thing. We save as players grade. Let's open it up players and team name. Players. Players. Uh, name and birth date. Uh, for us, players as player, we want to show name Simon, and here we have. Player birth date. No teams, no players. Um, yeah, seems to be good. Let's test it out. So, teams, refresh that, and we have two players here without birth date. Now, what happens if we click that zero? It should show no players. That's why uh, for us is used, and that's how it works actually. Um, yeah. So now we have games. Uh, we have teams, 
and probably the most interesting and the most difficult thing is to calculate the table of standings so let's do that now we have our menu item table which is not defined yet uh, so let's create a controller, another controller for table controller and we will have one method same index, actually let's copy that from games um, and we will have teams mm. To be honest, uh, I will start not from here. Uh, it will be front table, uh, compact teams. And I will, for now, I will write the code, then I will explain. So teams will be team all sort by points. Something like that. For that thing to work, we need a couple of things. Request, by the way. Uh, let's put in the table how it looks. How it will look. So let's copy the player's blade into table blade. Let's open that table blade and standings table. Uh, so, for else, no teams, what we need to show in standings table, usually, we have number, like first, second, third place, then we have team, then won games, tied games, and lost games, and then points. Points. And then it should be something like uh, loop, I think, count it is. Uh, from what I remember, 4else has that loop variable, which teams as team. And then we're going to show team name, team1. Tied, lost, and points. So some construction work here in my office. Lost and points. We haven't defined them yet. We will do that soon. And this is cost by six. Okay. Um, loop count. I think it's not that. So let's Google that quickly. Uh, for each loop index, I think it is. The loop variable. Loop first. Loop first, loop last, loop index it is, yeah. Starts at zero. Iteration it is. Iteration. Okay. Uh, now in model team, we have to define all those variables. I actually have done it before uh, separately. And I'll just copy and paste the code from there, but I will explain. So we have a lot of attributes called mutators. So we have games attribute, one, tied, lost, and points. Uh, so for games attribute, we actually we need to use them. Okay. Probably, yeah, that would be good. So for games attribute, we return the query, uh, return the count of games where the result one is not null, and where the team, where the current team is team one ID or team two ID. Same with uh, get one attribute, but it's a little more complicated query with like if it's team one, then it's result one should be bigger than result two, and stuff like that. Uh, tied and lost, the same thing. And the points attribute, you can configure that here, but I assume that the victory gets three points and the tie gets one point. Uh, actually, it's, it's a rule from, from soccer, from football in Europe, but let's, let's stick it here just to, to show you that it can be tied. 
so yeah, I guess that should work by now. Let's close that one. And let's get table. Controllers T not found. Controllers T. The only difference is sort by point, sort by descending point. There you go, Golden State is on top. So we have only one game uh, of Golden State uh, 1 against Cleveland. Let's put more games here. Games. Um, actually, let's put one tie game. Let's imagine that there could be a tie game in basketball. And let's refresh the table. Uh, C3. Hmm. That's an interesting error, I guess. It counts as a loss for, for each of them, I guess. So something is wrong in my code here. Uh, get tied result one equals result two. Okay, actually, I'll debug it later then. Um, for now, let's put the victory, and we should have two victories for Golden State or not. Oh, no, actually, yeah, it's the other way around. So eighty-eight, eighty-nine. Something seriously wrong here in my algorithm. Okay. Anyway, I'll debug it a little later. So basically, that was the overall overall overview of how to create uh, the project, how to generate the admin panel with our quick admin panel and then how to build a little front-end as a separate, uh, like separate mini project with custom code on Laravel after downloading Quick Admin Panel. I will put that project into GitHub. Uh, we have our GitHub at Laravel Daily. Uh, so github.com slash Laravel Daily. I will put the link in the, in the show notes for, for that YouTube video. So you can click there and I hope it was useful. I hope it didn't take too long and I hope you learned something from it and learn to use our Quick Admin Panel and we'll become a visitor and a user. See you in the next videos of Quick Admin Panel and Laravel Daily.